blasting off on a desperate mission to save Earth from the evil plottings of the tyrannical space lord Ming the Merciless. Dr. Hans Zarkov and Dale Arden have joined me, Flash Gordon. Cut, 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 cut. What's the problem? Wrong show, Flash. Wrong show. You're not back in the 70s anymore. Oh, oh, you're right, right, right. Sorry. Um, I'm not in breach of contract, am I? Out of the sky, his rockets ignite. Jets in the battle, flying faster than light. Flash Gordon, Lord of the Jungle, the hero who starts. Wow, wow, wow. The beast call him brother, the ghost who all. Phantom, defenders of the earth, master of magic spells and illusions. Enemies crumble in fear and confusion. Mandrake, defenders of the earth. His strength as a legend, his skills conquer all. Armed with his power, we never will fall. Defenders of the Earth. Yeah, man, I love Defenders of the Earth growing up. I'm not even going to give you the Tough Nerd Toys intro. These right here, I am very happy to review and have. I bought them of my own volition. So pardon the enthusiasm or anything like that. Um, if I ever get something through a donation, I will always tell you, or through being sponsored, I will always tell you. These figures right here, literally, I have been waiting on these for the longest. Now, pardon if you hear some thunder and lightning outside. We're getting a storm right now. So, you know, pardon if you hear it, or if the lights go out, then you know what happened. All right, but uh, yeah, when I was younger, I wasn't um, able to get these figures, but I watched the cartoon religiously. And if you're looking for the cartoon, not only are they on YouTube, but the whole series is on Tubi TV on YouTube, on, um, that you can download to your phone and onto your TV device. So I mean, like, there's no way you can't find these. Now, what I've always liked about Defenders of the Earth is the fact that it is pretty much like all of these classic contemporary heroes from the 20s and 30s and 40s put into one group right here. And yes, I was a very big fan of the Flash Gordon cartoon that came out back in the late 70s, early 80s, more so the late 70s. I've always been a fan of Flash Gordon. I love Minga Merciless. I love the Phantom. I've always watched like the, some of the old films that I was introduced to as a child through my grandmother and uncles and so on and so forth. So yeah, my fandom with these characters right here goes deeper than just having the action figures, than just to having Defenders of the Earth. I have always been a fan of classic streamlined superheroes and villains, but that are very effective. Like, so I mean, this right here is a treat and I thank you NECA for making these action figures. I am just filled with glee right now. I am overexcited to review these figures. So here we go. First, we're gonna go into the package of these guys right here. Let me bring this a little bit closer. And here you have Flash Gordon right there looking real good in the package. Had the Flash Gordon Defenders of the Logo right, Defenders of the Earth logo right there. Uh, let me move this up a little bit closer. Defenders of the old low, um, Earth right there. You have Flash Gordon looking good right there. My armor's blocking the light, pardon me. Looking real good right there. Loving that face sculpt, loving the hair sculpt and everything thus far. You have the other figures within the line. You have Lothar, Mandrake the Magician, Flash Gordon the Phantom, Ming the Merciless. Defenders of the Earth logo up here. And it says, our duty is clear. The time is now. Fate has decreed that we are. Okay, Defenders of the Earth. And right here, it also gives a little bio right here. It says, Flash Gordon, Savior of the Universe. Out of the skies, rockets at night, jets in the battle, faster than light. Wow, listen to that thunder. 
Flash Gordon is the le legendary swashbuckler of space travel. The intergalactic adventurer is known throughout the galaxy as one as the one man to battle the evil Ming and come out the hero. Flash alone understands the twisted mind of his wicked tyrant and leads the defenders war against him to save Earth from extinction. Collect the whole world of heroes and villains. And right here, you know, they were paying homage to the classic package that Galoob came out with these. And yeah, I remember the toys. I just wasn't able to get them at the time because when they came out, it just, it just seemed like they had a very short run of the toys and I was never able to get them. Not even downtown Newark or whatever the case may be where I lived at two guys, Bradley's, Toys R Us, it's like they came out and they were just gone. And yeah, you know, over here, again, another beautiful box art of Flash Gordon right here. Looking good, Defenders of the Earth on the top, and it's done in a window box, as you can see. Let's go next to Minga Merciless. Minga Merciless is, look, Ming the Merciless is looking great right here in the box. Got a beautiful um, box art of him right here. And it says, with Serpent Staff, Laser Blaster, Blast effect and sword. And it says Minga Merciless right there. NECA got some stuff on the got you know, Defenders of the Earth right here. Nice window on the side right here. Minga Merciless, he is figure number three. Where's so Flash Gordon is figure number two, as you can see. And I think I didn't mention his little his accessory explosion right there that they pretty much let you know, which harkens back to the classic Galoo bo box or package that they had, which was pretty much a blister package back then. And it says with laser blaster. Blast effects and sword. There we go. Now, right here, you can see he comes with some nice accessories, so on and so forth. Um, defenders on the earth on the side. Nice product image of Minga Merciless back here. Other figures within the line. Same on that box as on this one, vice versa. But we have the bio right here. It says Ming the Merciless, the ruler of the planet Mongo. Ming the Merciless has been battle, battling the unconquerable Flash Gordon for years. In their constant clash of good against evil, desperate to seize and dominate the earth, Ming's greed for conquest has become his obsession. And it says, collect them all. Nice little nod back to Galoob right there. And it has all the people that help um, make these figures. Randy Falk, DeJour, DeJour, or, you know, you can, you can pause the video and read it yourself right here. But Randy, thank you very much. I met him numerous times during Toy Fair years ago. Every now and then we would run into each other when Toys R Us was open. And over here we have the Phantom. Man, this Phantom looks great right here. And again, it's done in a window box as the rest of them are right here. And let me bring this a little bit closer so you guys can see it. It says, with Zufi, Laser Blaster, and Blast Effects. The Phantom, the Ghost Who Walks by NECA right here. Beautiful box art right there. Over here, got the Defenders of the Earth logo at the top. Let me bring this back a little bit more. I don't want to knock these guys down. Defenders of the Earth logo right here. Nice product image of him. Man, that face sculpt looks great right there. Loving that cleft in the chin right there. Um, other figures within the line. Simply the same thing as you would get the other, other guys right there. You got Lothar. I can't wait to get Lothar and Mandrake. I want everyone in this, in this collection. I'm hoping that they uh, release some ice soldiers so I can have them to battle instead of have them to battle you know, some ice soldiers and stuff like that, which I will army build if they come out with them. Um, and you can see right here, it says the Phantom. And yeah, I really even remember the movie from the 90s that came out of the Phantom. And, and th although it was a bit cheesy, I enjoyed it. I love classic contemporary or traditional styled heroes that are sleek and streamlined with so like their athleticism and their, you know, their moral code and whatever they represent in terms of their unique powers is what they represent. And right here, it says, the Phantom, the ghost who walks, Lord of the jungle, the hero who stalks, the beast call him brother, the ghost who walks. Yep. The Phantom is a, is a possessor of the strangest and most unique powers on earth. He draws upon the ancient secrets and supernatural strength of his roots in the deep woods. The Phantom flashes of raw animal power are invaluable in the defender's conquests of evil Ming and the ruthless robot army. Yep. And again, you got over here the people who help produce and sculpt these figures and make them. And yeah, that's pretty much it on the box. So what we're going to do, we're going to check it out, check out the figures and bust these guys open. All right. So let me bring this a little bit back. Be right back, guys. OK, so here we have them all out of the pack. And these guys look absolutely amazing. I mean, I, what took me so long to get back. And yeah, you guys wouldn't know the time lapse, but what took me so long really getting to um, getting to finishing up this video is the fact that I just couldn't 
like I, I couldn't get over the nostalgia and excitement I had for for these figures for having these figures and yeah NECA has done an absolute amazing job even before I get to the uh, final thoughts of these figures they've done an amazing job yes as you can see they are sharing sharing the same body sculpts in terms of these guys right mm -hmm. only one that I would expect to be a bit bigger would be Lothar but I mean let's go into the articulation and the beauty and the aesthetics of these wonderful figures right here man i'm so so excited to have these guys let's bring this a little bit closer and here we're going to do my boy flash gordon first let's check out his accessories first of all and you have this beautiful pistol right here who, which is done in like a how can i say like in a um a glittery purple or purple purple um paint and it's done all the way around and as you can see there's tons of sculpting that's going on in this pistol right here this laser pistol right here and i love it I absolutely love it. I love the guard that they have in the front right there. Very nostalgic, very classic, very like, uh, you know, 80s looking in terms of uh, laser pistols and so on and so forth. Absolutely love it. This looks good. He has his energy sword right here. Nice sculpting within the um, energy sword. The crown and hilt of the sword is sculpted very nice. Nice gray painting right here as you can see little red painting right there done very 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 well the plastic of the sword that or the the blade of the sword is done in a translucent yellow as you can see so i mean like they did a great job on this right here this is this is looking absolutely beautiful right there this looks absolutely amazing and it's a very long sword i would say this sword is coming in at around about like three inches three to four inch like three inches long next up they have we come with some blast effects as you can see got um, got three hands one you know one for holding his weapon another one for holding his weapon for both hands left and right as you can see and you know as you can see they got hinges on them and they plug right in they have plugs on the back right there so you can plug them right in and you have his trigger finger hand for his laser blaster which looks good and there's nice sculpting within these hands too as you can see like there's veins and everything not that much darkening i don't think the hands really needed it but you can see his nails sculpted into them and everything this looks great now pulling this back right here we are going to get into my man right here the main man, Flash Gordon. And yes, this Flash Gordon looks great. It looks absolutely great, as you can see. There's a face sculpt right there. Face sculpt is looking absolutely amazing. Body sculpt is nice, nice pigmentation and shading on the bodysuit that he has right there. Um, nice shoulder pads. Now, there's no darkening or anything like that. But the gold paint that they have on here looks absolutely great on here. The muscular textures and or the muscular um, sculpting that they have on him looks great. That face sculpt is absolutely amazing. Nice and clear. The Are these photoreal eyes? No, but they're painted eyes that look very good. His eyebrows are good. His hair looks great. It has the brown shading and darkening within the blonde hair. The head sculpt is absolutely amazing. The side profile is good nice coloring in the lips and lines and textures and uh, lines in the face he looks good does he have a cleft in his chin no he does not but he looks good good as you can see right here the muscular sculpting looks great again look at that back butt looking nice legs looking nice and everything like that now the boots are done in a shiny black and he has a little bit of red right there as you can see if you can see, there's a little bit of red, but I don't mind that. If I have a problem with that, I'll just paint it myself with some PVC shiny gloss, um, PVC black paint. There's sculpting in the wrist, as you can see, of the sh look like his body, part of his bodysuit. But I'm loving his padding along the shoulders and along the side of the arms, paying homage to the classic Flash Gordon uniform or 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 um costume that he used to wear beautiful beautiful symbol in the middle of the belt right there of the flash symbol right here uh silver painting along the belt the same black silver painting along the buckle yellow inside whether you know it or not there are three different shades of paint that are done very well well right in here the lightning bolt is gold the inside of the um buckle is yellow and the silver paint is on the outside looking very good and it's done in a glittery gloss type of silver the black along the back looks real good there's a bit of a blemish right there but no big deal or a deal breaker for me but this figure looks absolutely great along the collar you have some nice sculpting and nice uh nice um paint going on a little a little tiny bit sloppy but not that bad to where like it's a deal breaker for the 
for you purchasing this action figure, this beautiful piece right here. And he looks great. I'm loving the way his face sculpt looks. His face sculpt looks absolutely amazing. He has a bit of a nostalgic or classic look to him, portraying the first actor that played uh, Flash Gordon. Nice, uh, has some nice highlights in the hair and everything like that. He looks good. He looks very, very, very good. Nothing on the bottom, no really treads or anything. I love the flat boot look that they have given him to pay homage to the classic Flash Gordon right there. Now, as far as articulation goes, he has a, he's on a ball joint. There's nothing down by the neck right here. Ball joints on the shoulders right here. Double hinged elbow, as you can see. Very stiff joints. Very stiff joints, as you can see. Got a bend going on there. You can get some more. You might have to put a little machine oil on it to loosen things up. This figure comes very stiff outside of the box. The fist right here looks very good. You can pivot up and down and twist. Got a nice leg spread. NECA is really coming along with their articulation. As you can see, it's on a double, it's on a ball hinge joint in the inside, which is look, which it looks good right here. And uh, you got some double knee articulation going on. I have to be very careful because I have not hit him with any machine oil to loosen things up or any oil to loosen things up. He has a twist at the calf right here and a nice pivot rocker twist and toe articulation as well right there. So you can, this guy is looking great and I'm loving the designs or like the wrinkles that they put in the suit. Even though it's a nice form fitting bodysuit, it looks very realistic and very good. For the price point, you cannot beat these figures, especially if you're a fan of the series and every, you know, does he have a twist in the way? Yes, he does have a twist and a nice ab crunch, but you got to be real careful. He is very, very stiff. Very stiff. And he's done out of a solid plastic. He's done in a very, very solid plastic. So don't think that you're getting a like a cheap figure or anything like that. You're getting a quality product right here. And yeah, I can say NECA has stepped up their game when it comes to their figures. I haven't been pulling stuff out of the package that's falling apart. This figure is solid. It feels it's it's heavy, heavier than the Marvel Legend. It's equivalent in terms of a masterpiece transformer. It's a very solid figure. So I mean, like this guy looks absolutely great. Looks great in your, um, would look great in your collection. I think I covered everything on him. So next we're gonna to go to my man right here, Ming the Merciless. Give me a second and I'll be right back. And yes, they do stand very well. As you see, I, I moved him around, messed with his toes and everything. And he just stood right, stood right there like it was nothing. But you know what? I didn't go into his accessories. So let's go into his accessories real quick in terms of like switching his hands on and out. You know, we'll come back to that later. Let's check out Ming the Merciless. We'll check out Ming the Merciless next. Hold on. All right. And next up, we have my man right here, Ming the Merciless. Now, I mean, Ming the Merciless to me inside outside of the package he is something to behold. I did not think I was going to like him as much as I do right here. And of course, we're going to go into the accessories. And of course, he comes with a blast effect, as you can see right here. The same as the other, as um, Flash Gordon over there. He comes with his, all I, uh, as I would call his Mongo Scepter, or whatever the case may be, whatever you want to call it. He comes with a Mongo Scepter. And there's tons of detail and painting on here that is done exquisitely. I mean, it looks great. It, it looks great. Even down, you got like some red right here, some gold rings around the bottom right there and looks looking very very good you got some um you got the nice dragon's head or the head of mongor looks representative of his pet mongor within the series if you remember mongor was pretty much not only his pet but his sidekick and operator of machinery believe it or not if you watch the series and um yeah it's done it it is very good you got like some translucent plastic going on right there you got the gold going on right there i mean like this thing looks great there is paint within the mouth right there, a glittery, the, what is this? Is the tongue done in like a gray paint? There's so many paint apps going on on this scepter that we're like, you wouldn't believe. Even the eyes are painted red in the inside right there. And it's nice sculpting too with the wrinkles within the, um, within the beak of the dragon's head scepter right there. It looks great. It looks great. And you can see the dorsal fins on the back of it right there. It is looking absolutely amazing. We're going to put that down. And of course, he has the same blaster as Flash Gordon, which I don't mind. I like when they use uni like uniform technology within the series, which is good. And again, it's done in that cr like crystal type of bluish purple paint. But the sculpting on these weapons are absolutely phenomenal, if you can see. Hopefully, you guys can see it very well, even down to the handle. There is some sculpting in here. And it's done in a hard plastic. Then, too, you have his swashbuckling sword right here. Um, 
nice gold along the handle right here sculpting in the handle and hilt of the sword right here you can see it looks real good and it's done in a gunmetal type of uh gray right there if you look real good with a red diamond crest symbol in it and it looks good this looks good red stripes along there is so much painting and detail in this i am not disappointed with these toys in fact they actually look better than the cartoon you know which is um which is amazing and you know he gets a blast effect as well now going into this beautiful and i mean beautiful figure right here he looks absolutely amazing down from the head let's bring this closer so you can get some more light his face sculpt is beautiful look at this right here sorry i knocked the phantom over you got like a you got like a crest you, like like right here you have a deco of a symbol in it which is the symbol of mongo and leadership right here in the top of his head his face looks amazing you can see there's darkening there the eyes are recessed in these eyes i think are real photo real eyes right here i'm not really sure uh but the eyebrows look great hopefully you guys can see it the eyebrows look great on this guy side profile is amazing it has the pointed ears the green skin which looks like it has pigmentation in it if you look right here you can see some um some darkening right here the sculpt on this guy the head sculpt on this guy is absolutely amazing that flamboyant costume that he has is beautiful nice big collar then the gold around the edges right here a burgundy with textures inside representing like more of ridges or whatever the case may be you have some nice gold right here with and orange now the gold along the necklaces and um that connects to the collar and the um and the um along right here the two clasps that supposedly keep his um cape on are little the, the paint it, it's not bad but it's just a little little muddle or a little clunky a little bit but it's nothing that would keep you from not getting this figure the detail on this guy the painting along the torso is beautiful nice shiny glossy paint in the middle red and blue on the side right here as you can see on the side and in the front that is very beautiful up uh, down here he has the um he has the belt right here with the nice little crescent in the middle the nice little gold crescent with and again this painting upon painting within these within these figures NECA did an amazing job and I mean amazing job with this figure actually Ming the Merciless is turning out to be one of my favorites right here you see the dragon done in a red right here burgundy paint in the background right there along the arms you have the gauntlets right here and there's some red right here red right there some black uh, shiny paint right here gold going on along there and wait till I get to the cave you will just be surprised and the same thing over on this side but you have his beautiful power ring and it's been done with some nice detail as well as you can see let me try to bring this as close as I can so you guys can get a good view of it of his hand let me bring this up some so you guys can see I want you to see that ring kiss the ring kiss the ring get on your knees and tell me how much you love me look at this nails are done sculpting in the hands darkening in the hands pigmentation within the skin looking good looking good and the ring is painted all the way around well into the bottom let me try to get this for you guys well into the bottom of the hand this looks amazing he is looking real real good they did a great job with this down to the boots he's the same as flash gordon but his is not as shiny he did they didn't do the shiny paint that they did with um with flash gordon they basically did a flat paint with him or a semi-gloss as i would say with him the muscular structure in ming the merciless looks great he looks absolutely amazing has the gray the gray along his arms are done in a flat right here as you can see here the pins is done with a pin um double hand hinged pin joint which i don't mind some people can't stand them i don't see why well, on the back it is a nice solid blue flat looks great from the side everything looks great again he has some shield well along here he has some shoulder pads as you can see right there they're done in a high gloss paint with sculpted lines inside of it to add to the padding this is beautiful absolutely beautiful it is it is a treat for anybody that is a fan of defenders of the earth along the butt he has again the, you have the loincloth going down right there and it looks great you have the uh sculpt along the belt along the back along the braided back it looks like a braided belt along the top it is like an high upper echelon outfit that he has on totally prestigious looking 
Again, this face sculpt is amazing. Now, as far as the articulation goes, you can move the head side to side. No, well, no, 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 no. How can we get this? Now, this right here is a quality soft good that they got going on with this guy. I don't know what NECA was thinking, but it is beautiful. And it's done in a nice shiny material and a solid material too. It's not cheap. There's stitching along the along the sides right here, along the bottom. And there is a um, bendable, like, how uh, can I say, like aluminum brace inside of it. So you can get all sorts of posing and um, all sorts of flailing with the cape going on. And it's done in two different materials, as you can see right here. The soft goods on here are amazing. It's like a satin, as a matter of fact, but not satin, but like a satin. Done very, very well. It doesn't feel like this will eventually just fade off and just, you know, because some soft goods that they use, when they use that foam, it's garbage. But like this right here is very, very good. And you can maneuver it and bend it to pretty much cover him completely. You could, because again, these bottom, the bottom of it right here, it has braces or aluminum, aluminum um, brackets in it so that you can get all sorts of cape cape things going on even flail it up like this so we can look like he's in the wind or whatever the case may be so yeah i mean NECA did an amazing job with this amazing job i was about to forget the cape man look at this this figure is beautiful i'm very happy to have this right here very happy and NECA you did a fantastic job great job when i saw these were slated last year i just lost it absolutely lost it but these guys look great now as far as articulation he pretty much has the same as flash gordon over there there are he's on the ball joint here got a bicep swivel as flash gordon has over there i don't know if i mentioned it but he has a bicep swivel he's very tight these figures are very tight you got a double hinge elbow right here connected by two pins nice leg split you got the ab crunch here but some of it is inhibited due to the kibble that he has going on right here it's very very stiff now, a nice twist in the waist right there. No, no ball joint in the waist, but you got a nice leg split going on right here. You can kick forward, kick back, double hinge knee going on. Got some twist in the calf as with Flash Gordon over here that I've knocked down. I'll just keep him down over there. And you got some other stuff going on too right here. Look, you got like a nice toe pivot, ankle rocker, pivoting up and down. This guy is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful and yeah you can fit all of his stuff inside of you can switch these out ah, let me pull up. all right now you can switch the hands out and you can like as you can see right here i just pulled it out but it's very very it's stuck in there very securely now i want to tell you one thing be very very careful with the tips of these weapons because this one right here almost bent on me and i think it was about to crack okay but other than that everything is good you know that's the only thing i'm not gonna lie to you or anything like that man i'm liking how they did the helmet right here with the uh that goes down it looks like it's a sideburn helmet and everything like that this looks good man and the point right here in the helmet like the widow's peak of the helmet looks great that goatee looks amazing look at that goatee man look at that goatee that goatee looks good. And you can look there, see there's coloring in the lips as well, man. This, this They went all out with these, man. They actually look better than when the uh, product picks were put out there. But this guy, and look, even in the ear, look over in the ear. Look in this ear. You can see it right in the ear right there. This looks great. And there's gold along the neck, too. Man, they went bananas with the detail and coloring and painting on here. The paint apps are spot on. Here he is holding the um, blaster right here. Now, it's a little bit weird. You're going to have to do some maneuvering of the hand and stuff like that because I had to to get the um, blaster to fit in. And as you can see, he holds the dragon scepter really good too. Now, the, and the grips are very stiff on here. The grips are very stiff. The Dragon Scepter looks absolutely well, looks great in his hand. Mongor, come with me. We have work to do. I was wish I was hoping that they would um make a make Mongor build a figure or something like that for uh Ming the Merciless. This looks great though. Look at this, man. Look at this. You can't have a villain without a scepter, especially if he's supposed to be kind of like in the realm of like being a super evil villain like you know it's like it's like having Skeletor without his Havoc staff you gotta have him with it man you gotta have the Havoc staff and here he is with his sword there he is with the sword here he now I, you know what let me rephrase that the other hand that they gave him 
was basically his blaster hand, this right here. This hand right here is the blaster hand. So yeah, it fits in with the blaster very, very well, as you can see. And he looks great with the sword as well. And again, you can get like some dynamic poses, especially with the cape going up in the air, which I think was a wonderful touch that um, NECA did right there. That is absolutely amazing. Look at that. And it looks beautiful. The nice glittery satin type of purple um interacting or like the color contrast with the red looks amazing looks amazing and again you got the blast effects right here that you can plug right onto the front right there you can plug them right on i don't want to mess around with this gun too much but they fit on really easy like that look got the nice blast effect then you got the large one right here with the impact on the end right there so that you can make it seem like you blasted someone like and they fit on very, very easily too. Be careful with these guns because the guns, the, the, the nose or the, the front of the pistol is very, very delicate. It's very delicate. It's done in a solid plastic, but the front of the pistol is very delicate. So I mean like, yeah, this, this right here is the business, man. This is the business. That, this, is, this is a beautiful, beautiful figure. I am loving these so, so very, very much. Now... We're gonna back this up, back this up a bit, so you guys can get a better look at them before I switch to my man, the Phantom over here. Pardon this mess that I got going on, but man, and they come with a ton of accessories, man. But we're gonna get to my man, the Phantom, right after this. Next up, here we have the Phantom, and we're going to go into his accessories first. Again, he has the signature blaster that they are all coming with right here. And this one is looking good. The same, the same as the, the same as before, you know, right there. Looking good, looking good. Then we have some blast effects right there. That fits right onto the gun very easily. Again, be careful with the nozzle, the nose of these pistols because they're very, they, I found that they can break. He comes with a larger blast effect as with Ming the, Merc Ming the Merciless and uh, Flash Gordon. And it looks great, man. Again, you can get like some, I love stuff like this because you can get like good classic battles going on, man. You know, he has two interchangeable hands right here with the rings, with the skull. Well, this one is without the skull ring. And I guess that can provide as the um, power when he shoots from the ring right here. So that's cool. You can actually give it like a blast effect some type of way, you know, because you can get like the... <laughs> you know what i'm saying get a little blast effect which is absolutely wonderful then we have then we have zufi looking great in the detail on he is posable he has one two three four like six points of art seven points of articulation and he looks great bring this a little bit closer neca did a great job and you can see that he's holding the inquisitor crystal right there the antennas, hair, everything looks good. The tail is posable. You can move the tail from side to side. You got like nice mobility in the leg, as you can see. This is a beautiful figure. Great job, NECA. And I mean, the face sculpt is absolutely spot on. It looks like him from the cartoon. And I'm glad that the cartoon is basically the source material. This looks good. Look at those antennas. And the antennas are like a soft vinyl as well. So, I mean, like, this is good. And look, you got some range of motion going on here. So, I mean, like, this is great. This is absolutely great. So, you know what we got to do now. We got to go into my man. The main one right there. Looking solid. And this looks great right here. This looks absolutely amazing. The face sculpt is done very, done very well. He has the classic purple outfit or violet outfit on and it looks amazing. You got the black, the black, uh, black belt going on with the skull symbol in the middle. Nice body sculpt, the same body sculpt as Flash Gordon over there, nice boots. His boots are not as shiny as Flash Gordon's. They're done pretty much the same as Ming the Merciless. Again, these bodies are reused sculpts, which I don't mind. 
because the character fits in very well nice muscular sculpting in the back along the behind along the legs again these figures don't have any thigh cuts right here so you might be a little bit disappointed but i'm not the the uh phantom skull ring that he has right here yes i'm a very big fan of the phantom he has a phantom belt decal right here nice deco going on in there very good deco they did it very well as you can see it looks very good a little bit off but i mean like for what they're giving you in the price point you cannot complain i purchased action figures that are even worth more and they don't have such good deco i mean this guy looks good i'm loving the face sculpt face sculpt looks very very good as you can see and i love the way the sideburns of them or the sides of the mask pretty much protrude into his face giving it a nice point a nice widow's peak which is reminiscent of classic superheroes back in the day they the eyes look great do I think his face could have been elongated a little bit more? Yes, but it's still not bad, especially when you look from the side up. From the side, you got like a five o'clock shadow going on. Got the cleft in the chin looking great. Man after my own heart, I have a cleft in my chin, so I don't feel, that's another reason why I used to love uh, superheroes because a lot of times they would draw these classic superheroes with clefts in their chin. And I used to think, I used to hate mine at first, but then when I started seeing superheroes with him, I loved him. He has a nice bridge. Everything looks great on here. I love the way they sculpted in his, um, his mask right here it looks real good if you look real good it looks real good cleft in his chin looks great everything looks great on this guy no ridges on the feet holes on the bottom as on these guys over here but man you got some good stuff going on here bro you got some good stuff going on here look at this look at this <clears throat> and again he has this, like the same body sculpt as a uh, flash gordon with the sculpted sweater look or <clears throat> the sweater cuffs whatever but this guy looks great not that much uh shading within the suit but it's enough it's enough you can get you can see a little bit of shading within the suit but not a lot but he looks good you can see the imprint where his ears are this looks great and he has on both hands he has a um has the skull ring on both hands if you look real good this is looking great now the articulation is the same as the other ones, as you can see. Head goes all all around, goes all the way around because nothing is inhibiting him from doing his articulation. As with the others, head looks up and down. It looks good. It looks real good. Nothing's hindering his mobility or anything of the sort. You got like uh, nice rotation. You got some nice ball joints in the arm and everything like that. Nice bicep swivel, double hinge with pins on the elbows right here. I don't want to bend them too much, but yeah, you got some nice twisting and pivoting in the wrist right there. Nice ab crunch. And again, you're going to have to put some oil on these because these figures come stiff out of the package. Twist at the waist right there. The belt looks nice. Got a nice leg split so you can get them into some real funky poses and stuff like that. This leg is extra stiff and is done on like the ball hinge joints. Um, double, double hinge knee, as you can see twisted the calf right there and again you got to pardon me my figure this figure is very very stiff you got some toe articulation right there so you can get it going up and down got some pivot and swiveling on the foot so you can get some nice funky poses with this guy and yes you can switch these hands out right here let me pull it and now and here he is holding his pistol it looks great man this is these figures are beautiful they you may not think that you know they're that pretty or like or that like this they're just beautiful man they're just beautiful now his face looks a little bit funny but not that bad you know maybe they shouldn't have raised the um the face mask or the eye mask that much but it's it's still cool it's still beautiful to me maybe that's just a peeve that i have but as a whole this figure is a beauty all three of these figures within this wave are absolutely beautiful I think I covered everything in terms of his articulation. Again, the shoulders, no butterfly joints on none of these figures right here. But he, it is beautiful. I am loving the build, the sculpt of these Defenders of the Earth figures. I don't, I love the fact that they're streamlined too. They're nice and svelte, you know, not a whole bunch of kibble on them or anything like that, which I absolutely love. I mean, I think this is great. These figures are great. This is, these, honestly, these body sculpts are um, customizers dream if you ask me. You know, and again, like uh, it's, it's pretty good quality going on here. Now, I would, as I stated before, I would have liked a little bit of thigh cuts. But you know what? Let me take some pictures and I will be right back. OK, guys.
So as a whole, I think these figures are absolutely amazing. And each one is coming in at about like, uh, let me see, like, uh, nah, let me give it a little bit more. Each one is coming in at about seven inches, seven inches. Ming the Merciless, Ming the Merciless is a bit taller. He's coming in at about seven and a half, given the, co given the collar that he has. But these figures are absolutely amazing. Would I like to see more of, um, more, more, like, I would like to see some Ice Soldiers. I would like to see Octon. I would like to see Mingor's, um, Mingor, which is Ming the Merciless pet right here. Um, I would like to, I don't really want the kid figures. I really wouldn't want the kid figures. Unless they came with, like, some uniforms, like Rick, LJ, Kashan, and all of them, you know, and, um, the Phantom's daughter and stuff. I don't, I don't really... I don't think I really would want the kids, but I would like some soldiers, like some soldiers for them to beat up on or like, you know, for Ming of the Merciless, the army build with so on and so forth. But I mean, like um, these these figures are absolutely amazing. We're going to give another last look at Flash Gordon, who pretty much when you look at his face up close, he looks like he's a combination of Buster Crab, who play, who originally played the original Flash Gordon and Sam J. Jones. Very handsome men that portrayed uh, Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon has always been one of my favorites. And again, it, these figures actually have more detail than the original um, than the original cartoon than, than the original cartoon did. That cape is just knocking over everything, and I love it. But yeah, this is beautiful, man. Ming the Merciless looks great. He looks absolutely stunning. All of these figures look absolutely stunning. Now, the only problem I have is that the, um, what do you call that? The tips of these guns are very, very delicate. You can literally break them by just like putting them in their hands and not knowing that the tips of the guns are very, very fragile. So be careful with that. Now, Phantom, again, this Phantom looks great. A great body sculpt. I can see a lot of uh, customizers doing something with this body sculpt. It's a universal muscular body sculpt, which is very, very good. And rest in peace, Peter Mark Rip Richmond, who did the voice of the Phantom. But yeah, these these guys look great. And before this, like before the video, uh, before the, I want to let you know, at the end of this, look down in the description, and I'm going to show you the original pilot that I happened to get a hold of at one comic, well, see at one comic con, and it never appeared again until uh, we you go back, you go on to the wonderful world of YouTube, and you see it's on there, and it is the original pilot, which I think the original pilot would have been a great accent or a great would have been great versus the cartoon we received. Now, don't get me wrong. I did enjoy Defenders of the Earth because I'm a big fan of classic superheroes, traditional superheroes, streamlined superheroes, and superheroes that are just like base bare bones. Flash Gordon, Buck Rogers, and such were what I was exposed to as a kid doing by my grandmother and uncle. And they, these guys right here are just absolutely beautiful. I love the, 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 unique, the unique body that they've given them with the muscular look to them. It looks great it is tough fill each figure comes with a nice amount of accessories so you don't feel like you're not getting anything or whatever the case may be you come with individual hands and again if you want to look at muzzy right here or muzi any which way you want to call him he looks good he is cartoon accurate cartoon accurate a little bit of a smudge over here like right here but not that not not nothing that's going to keep you from buying it and i what i did notice is that when i unplugged the hands there was a bit of a paint chippage that happened but it's not that big of a deal you know, it's not like you're going to be seeing this anyway. Now, if it start happening on, on the figures, then yeah, we got a problem. But other than that, everything looks great on these guys. I mean, it, it is, it, it is, it is, it's just great, man. It's just great. It's just great. Out of all the kids, if I did want to see one, it would have been Ming Sun. But yeah. And as if you watch, if you want to see the show, if you're not familiar with Defenders of the Earth, you can look on, again, you can download Tubi, which is an app, which is a free movie app. And watch the whole series from beginning to end, which I think is absolutely amazing. The accessories are amazing. The show was amazing. Now, as it went along, you can tell like the they started running out of budget. So therefore, it just started getting crappier and crappier in terms of the animation and artwork. The I would say episodes one through ten, you got the best of the what they were going to offer. And I think there was a discrepancy that Marvel Sunbow was going to do these, do do the art, do the um the animation and artwork for it. But at that time, if you remember, Visionaries was going through, Marvel Sumbo was having an issue with a lot of like uh, 
Japanese artists and animators and they were having, you know, Sumbo separated from Marvel and there was a whole spiel going on with so whereas though Visionaries was their last big hurrah and if you watch the last episode of Visionaries it was kind of like that little that little thing that one of uh one of the characters said on he said well that's all folks and that was pretty much Marvel Sumbo or Sumbo letting you know like that's it for us doing you know Marvel properties or Hasbro properties and stuff like that yeah it's a long history that goes with it because I, I was you know look it up you'll see what had happened but again these figures are absolutely amazing I can't wait to see, to see the next wave um I don't know what else to tell you, but to, uh, just, man, get them. They are beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Hopefully, I covered everything on these guys. So, you know, I don't know. I don't want to get too long-winded on you guys. But, man, listen. These figures are beautiful. Better than what I expected. These actually look better than the product that, um, that they had listed when they were um, first announced. And, again, we did do a couple of comparisons. Here he is to my main man, Deathlock. Here go a couple of them. Let me see. Let me see. Standing next to my main man, Deathlock. And they, they are taller than most Marvel Legends because these guys are coming in at seven inches. Here he is next to angry stereotype black man. I don't even know if all y'all got nice clothes. Y'all got five dollars. Here he is next to your boy. And again, we haven't come up with a name for this guy, but we gotta come up with a name for him. We got we gotta come up with a name for him. Yeah, and they're all just towering over him and stuff like that. He's not impressed. Look how he's looking at me. He was like, yo, get me out of here. So, I mean, like, yeah. Pick these guys up if you're a fan of um, Defenders of the Earth or the fan of um, classic um, Flash Gordon. Pick him up. I would, now, one thing I'm gonna leave you guys on with. I would like to see NECA take this same body sculpt and do or possibly do the filmation um, the filmation uh, Flash Gordon cartoon with the Lion Man, Ming the Merciless, Birdman, so on and so forth, Dale Arden, um, Zarkov, Dr. Zarkov, and so on and so forth. So, I mean, not going to talk you guys any much long, talk to you guys, you know, talk you guys head off too much longer, but I just want to let you know, oh, these are great. These are great. So with that being said, that brings this review to a close. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and share this video. Also, you know how it go, as you can see. And again, this package is classic, man. It's classic. And I bought it. I bought two sets. I bought two sets so that that way I, I actually am going to put one on the wall. But I do bust my toys open. And with that being said, what do you do? Bust it open.